Hello friends, welcome to Gloomwood. I had uh, started this game because uh, it looked really cool to me. It's uh, kind of like Thief Dishonored situation. Uh, if you know anything about Thief, you know those games were a lot of fun back in the day. Like uh, Deadly Shadows was really the only Thief game that I ever played. Uh, but I enjoyed it then. Uh, I really enjoyed the Dishonored series. Uh, there's no like crazy powers or anything like that. You can't really, um, you know, drop, uh, assassinate anyone in this game or anything like that. But there is guns. This is basically like just Thief with a with a gun, I guess. More than it is like Dishonored, but Dishonored and Thief have a lot of similarities as well, other than the powers. But um, I don't feel like I really gave it a good go, so I am going to try it again because uh, it's uh, it's kind of difficult actually, you know, to get around all these to get around all these uh, guards and things like that. It's it's not the easiest game, and I feel like I was stuck. But we're gonna try this again. So far, I've only found one save point. That phonograph down there. I've found some keys to this area uh, upstairs, basically. So, I'm just this guy that they locked in a cell for some reason or another. Um, oh, so I move much faster when this is sheathed. I didn't know that, so still learning. Uh, I'm guessing even... Okay, so, just, so I've been finding like little things like this here, you know, just ugh, extra little ways to kind of get around the level um, so far that I've that I'm in. Even though it's still kind of a pain in the ass. Ah, there we go. So I've been through this area ugh, a few times already. It's just a. Uh, it's really not a very forgiving game, uh, but I'm super interested in it, and I want to, you know, see how far I can get, see what it has to offer, because it is an early access. Um, but I'm not exactly sure, you know, what that uh, entails, and I'm not sure. So. I don't have to kill everyone, I don't think. But, you know. So that, I have uh, keys to that room. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to get around some of these guys. And I know there's got to be alternate ways around them. Um, you know, uh, we'll just, we'll, we'll find out for sure. Uh, this little ring I have on my finger is like my light gem from Thief. Kind of shows how far, or how you know how exposed I am in light and things like that. I uh, got that in the beginning, which I mean was only moments ago. Really, I haven't really gotten anywhere. It's it's very difficult. But I don't know. So if things like this can kill people, you know, like I don't know if I can drop that on people's heads things like that, but I know I can't, I was <laughs> I've been playing Dishonored as well for a while there, before I started recording again too, and my, I was uh, stuck in that mindset that I could drop down on these dudes and just uh, take them out that way, but unfortunately that's not a thing you can do <laughs> it's definitely catered more towards the old school style of gameplay, and that's a safe in there, it's got a revolver in it apparently, which I need, but I can't, uh, I haven't found the code for it, and these guys carry rifles that you can get bullets out of, but apparently it's built to their proportions or something like that, that the game described, that I can't exactly use, the, use them, so, um, so far, I've just kind of gotten around to this point here, and that's about it. Um, I know there's like ways I can drop in through here, but this is where I came from. So that's kind of 
pointless at the moment. Maybe I can get rid of him real quick. Spoke. That's that's a one-shot kill as long as you sneak up behind them and charge the backstab for sure. Um, that's a one-shot kill. Uh, if they turn around and happen to see you, it's taking a bunch of swipes to drop these dudes. Um, so yeah, I uh, definitely. Hey, I didn't see that before. There's a house over there. Apparently, they've updated it to where you can get into the actual city now. And I don't know exactly how long this starting area is. Or oh shit, I didn't even see this before. How long the starting area is and what you can do. Uh, Yeah, because there's these guys here. Which idiot was watching the cell? The outsider has escaped! Oh, okay. So now... Oh! Oh, they've ran. They ran off. Oh, nice. See, that didn't happen before. That helps. There's... standing there at one point. I'm going to stab this guy again just for measure. Can't pick up their axes. I mean, you can pick them up and throw them. I think you can actually do damage with them as well, but yeah, see, you can do stuff like that. Alright, so that's taken care of. There's, like, gate control in there. It opens these two gates here. And the uh, last time I came through here, there was a guy standing, like, right here. But now, they've scurried off, I guess, because of that. Oh, hey! Shortcut. That's perfect. That works. That, that works wonders, actually. That's great. Okay, so, here's a shortcut. I feel like they've built their levels as well, sort of like on that Dark Souls kind of um, uh, that Dark Souls sort of foundation where you know there's multiple ways to get through the level, there's multiple shortcuts and things like that. So so far, so far so good. I just need a, I need a code. I wish I could peep through keyholes. That'd be great. Okay, so that's locked. And I have no idea. This is just shadows. I have this little case that hides on my... I don't have any idea why I picked this head up. I can't remember. I got a wheel of cheese. A bunch of bottles. These, uh... Yeah, these basically can put out flames. And this is like... Oh, so... Uh... Yeah, okay, so they can activate buttons from a from a distance. And then you flip to this side and you have like your journal and things like that. Uh reacts to nearby light, your journal, all your keys. Mind, I don't know what would affect the mind. Uh let's see what's up these stairs. That's the shortcut. This guy here, this bozo. Can I just? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna do this here. I got the rooftop key. So that's just another rooftop key. Okay. That's fine. Throw him here for now. I've been here as well. 
I just haven't been able to get up it to this tower. And I don't think I can carry lanterns. That would be s splendid, though. There's just so many of these dudes around that... So you got this homie here, another homie over there. Apparently they haven't found the key to this place yet, so... So we'll just slowly open this and hopefully they're, they're just dumb. Yeah, pretty dumb. But I think... This is just... I, I've been this way as well, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But. Let's see. Sounds like there's more down here. Okay. That's a room I can't get into. Both of these rooms I can't get into. Wait, there's a crank. Okay, so I don't have the key to either of those, but I think that's like the manager, the manager's room. So that's my save point. And it looks like I can grab another shortcut here. Yep, didn't see that before. That's awesome. That, that's actually really great for me. Still... We'll go ahead and use that to save. So we'll go ahead and do that. And slide right through here. Um, Has anyone found the key up to the watchtower yet? Yeah, see, they talk about this. The prisoners escaped and locked himself in there. <laughs> How long has he been up there? A week about making him stay up there and starve to death. At least he has a good view. What a fool. You guys are not very nice. I try to wanna to try to avoid the guys with the guns if I can take one out. Since I've saved. Alright, he's down. And now, let's see. happen. If I miss by something appears to have been nothing. <laughs> okay. I thought maybe I could hit him with the shovel. I guess I can't. I wonder if I could have fucking like solid snaked my way with like holding a box in front of my face. I want to get into that opening though where they're at. So Let's see. Because I don't know what's right there. Let's pull out one of these. Yeah. And, of course, that makes a lot of sense. That's That makes so much sense. They're going to kill me. Ugh, oh, okay. Oh, they didn't kill me that time, holy shit. But all I'm picking up is... I have ammunition boxes and things like that, but I don't have a gun. Okay, so this is cool, actually. Oh, this just leads down to that, that area. Let's see, so I need to use this, actually. There we go. Let's see what's... Okay, well, that's them taken care of, at least. I, uh, I don't know. There's got to be a way to open this. There's a guy down this way somewhere, I think, that has the manager's key. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I have the power room key and that they have the manager's key still. They came back to the pit that I was in. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of those guys. Try and get that manager's room key. Oh, I could just go into the manager's room from there too. I forget about that. So you go here, get a little note. It's like his last will and confession. Um, and it looks like he might have offed himself. So I don't know the code to this yet. And I don't know where I would find the code, actually. Yeah, so you can pop the lights off. Kind of hide out a little bit. Also, yeah, this is interesting. Since there's no uh, keyhole peeping, you just kind of pop your ear up against it. Grab another one of these. Hmm. There's a uh, but a missing button. I haven't found another button yet. There's all his buddies. That lighthouse actually illuminates me. Just thought that was kind of cool. Let's see. So we will. That guy's got the key. This guy does his little patrol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, whenever he goes back again, I'm going to poke. Got the manager's key. I'm gonna take him and throw him overboard there. I probably should have done that differently. So this is the bill of expenses. I don't know. Carrington's fees as you coins. Decks. I'm limping because I got smacked in the head one too many times. I do have another one of those. Right? Yeah, I grabbed another one. Go ahead and shoot up. Oh, hi. Hey, you heard me, huh? That's the other bozo down there. Okay. I'm not too worried about him right now. Alright. So this is just like the accounting office, I think. What if... What if I should start heading this way now? Because I don't think there's really anything... There's not really anything left for me over there. There's the safe, but I don't know the code. What does the Countess want with him anyways? Don't know. I just want to get the job done, get paid, and not go anywhere near a mansion after that. And the drop-off point is the old city gate, right? Yeah. We're supposed to hand him off to the spy master. That guy? He gives me the creeps. Best you don't let anyone hear you say that. Someone gives you the creeps? Jeez. Okay, so this is how I'm supposed to be playing this game. I'm supposed to be finding these alternate routes to where they can do their fucking dialogue and all this other shit and move instead of just standing there the entire time because I've been playing it. I've just been walking on the ground and stuff, not letting them do their stuff. Um... That's not... 
it's not where I want to be. And I know that I can backtrack. I can come back to these points, I think. I'm pretty sure I could come back to these areas. It's open. It's an open world-esque time, uh, type of game, kind of. Um, so that's entirely doable. There's some... Looks like there's a river outside. Maybe I should try and get into that room from there. I don't know what exactly is in the room. But yeah, they still assume I'm... Uh, they're still assuming that I'm in captivity. And they're, I'm sp supposed to be delivering me to someone alive. Whereas they've been killing everyone else. But you know, I'll... I'll not argue with that. I'll... I'll, I'll see if I can just drop down... Yeah, it looked like there was a way in under this place. There's gotta be... Can't open it. Fuck. There's gotta be a switch somewhere. Where's the switch? There's a guy like right there. Shit. I need a switch. Okay. Two caves. What the fuck are you guys doing? I really would like a pistol. I would like that pistol. Do I find oh, shit, no. To have nothing. Yep, it was nothing. I, um... I think there's a phonograph in here. There is. I need to get in there to save. Okay. This is as far as I've been so far, so... Didn't mean to put it right back in my suitcase. Oh my god, okay. Alright. Oh, you shitting me? There's a. Oh my god, there was a way in down there. I'm a. Hey! Save. Oh, thank god. A revolver. Fucking awesome. Hell yeah. What the fuck was that? Incendiary bolt. 
Dude, I'm so fucking happy I found a goddamn pistol. That's great. Nice. Alright. What is down here? Holy shit. Okay. Well, maybe I... Ooh. Oh, I got a diamond? White gem. Can be sold. Cool. Holy shit. Dude, I should have came out here a long fucking time ago. I got a fucking pistol. Ah, shit, and a door I can't go through. It probably would have been helpful. Let's see. just come this way the entire time, but I did not. Alright, those bozos down there. Let's see what they have to say, actually, before I light their asses up. I'm curious, they're bound to say something, right? There, now there's no way the outsider can escape. You dunderhead, why did you do that? You didn't ring the alarm! But now we've made sure we can't get away. How do you think they're going to cart him to the city now? We'll build a new bridge. Shut up! You idiots. What? <laughs> hey! Sorry, guys. I just had to. That's that was satisfying. All right. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I wonder. Can this be used on that brick wall with the chain? I don't know. It's a pickaxe, right? Okay, so this is as far as I've been. I'm about to fucking actually call it uh, quits on this video, but I wonder how effective this pistol is, actually. I'd be cu curious to find out. Stabbing this fucking guy. Yeah, okay. I have some, I got to pull it on him. What's around here? Anything? Any reason for that? I wonder if that gate control in this room works for for that <laughs> under got damn it there we go let's find out there's the map Works for this, not for that shit, I don't think. Let's see. Just 
just like basically opening shortcuts and shit, I think. shots. Three shots. Good to know. Oh, shit. I could just get into the goddamn window right here. Oh, that's nice. A curious sound. All seems quiet. I don't know if I should actually be killing these people, but, you know, I'm doing it anyway, so fuck it. Oh, hey, look, more ammo. Alright, I need to use that kind of sparingly, I think. Anything in here worth having? I still need the damn door code. I don't know. That'll be a that'll be a mission for another time to try and get the safe code up there. I've gotten to the second save point, so that's where I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. Let me go actually go back out there and save it before I do that. But yeah, uh, what an interesting little game for real uh, for early access, you know. And these little labors of love that these these people work on, you know, it's like a thief fan and some of his friends making this game, which is, that's highly impressive, you know, I mean, that's, that's very highly impressive, uh, for something like this, you know, and they're con con constantly updating it, so it's like, you know, they might release it in little bits and pieces and chunks and things like that, but I mean, they're consistently working on it, and they just, back in July, I think, they had a massive update for it. Like, they opened up the city, finally. So that's cool. So we'll get to experience all that stuff. There's still stuff in this area that I need to get, though, so... I need to get that safe open. I need to figure out a way to get up there. Um, but we'll do that in the next one. Um, you know, just kind of see what it's all about. But anyhow... Uh, thanks for stopping by. If you did stop by, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe the vid uh, to the video, to the channel, things like that. I uh, I can use every little bit of help that I can get. It it really helps out a lot, you know. So uh, thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.